So it's locally recording. I'm Pine Martin. Your turn to introduce yourself. I am Kay, otherwise Cookie Squirrel. There we go. All right. Ah, my God, it's finally dead. Once you start sharing a stream, I'll screen capture this. Highly disturbing content. Oh my god. What am I going to experience? There we go. Can you hear that? Oh my god, it's loud. Can you hear the little dinging? Yes, I can hear the dinging. Okay. I don't feel safe hitting this agree button. I know. Like these four, something's up with these four. I'm easily disturbed. <laughs> like, still Turn your volume down disturbed. just a little. Make it about like a perfect. Okay, awesome. Oh, gosh. Do you have any final words to say to me before you scarred me for life? I love you. Very well. All right. Now for know. the name. I see an annoying girl running towards me. Waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. <laughs> this is already off to a great start. <clears throat> I'll do the... I'll tell you... I'll do this one coming up. You can do your person. That girl is Saori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Saori catch up to me. Ha! Ha! I almost slept again! But I caught you this time! Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Kay! Well, if people, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or anything. <laughs> I'm just already such a nice person. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have to have it any to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Whatever you say. <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the, the streets become increasingly like speckled voices. with other students making their daily commute. I, I guess we're gonna find out. You could probably do <laughs> the adult one. By the way, Kay, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? Oh, that's me. <laughs> I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. <laughs> that's not true! You told me you would join the club this year! Did I? Did I really? 
I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. I'm just waiting for the terrible, terrible darkness that is this game to creep up on me. I was talking about how I'm worried you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. This is suddenly a little too real. <laughs> I know, when I read this, I was just like, ouch, ouch. Like, ow. My feelings. <laughs> Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Neat. It's a, a form of introvert in, in Japan. They're called neat. Ah, have you seen A Welcome to the Y2K? No, I have not. It's an anime pretty much describing what a neat is. You trust me, right? No, not really, but okay. Don't make me keep worrying about you. Especially after hearing that line. No, yeah, I don't really trust her. Oh, trust me, you, you got a bit to go. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Oh, <laughs> will you at least promise me you'll try a little bit? Yeah, I guess I'll promise that. Fine. If anything, I'll probably just have you do your voice and I'll do theirs. Yay! The best voice. The voice I'm best at, at least. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Yeah, this girl really sounds like fucking fun. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for God, an ounce okay, of motivation. This is already really close to home. <laughs> Celery wants me to check out some clubs. Yeah, bitch, check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Oh no, don't start with the anime club. I can tell you from experience, that's a bad idea. <laughs> Diki Deska? Hello? Uh, Sayori? Celery must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. The fact that she does this too kind of concerns me. <laughs> you need to wait up for me if it's going to take or if it's going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought. <laughs> you know. No what? Well, that you can come to my club. No. <laughs> yes. Say no. Yes. Sayori? Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Oh, my person has some sense of dignity. <laughs> Celery is vice president of the literature oh, club. God. No, don't go to her club. Don't go to her club. Don't go to her club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any the interest fact that in part literature. Of the title makes me so scared of it already. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Also a bad idea. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyways? Why? Oh, why, pink-haired, blue-eyed girl? Well, 
I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. A new member or a new sacrifice? <laughs> and Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Cupcakes. <laughs> Give him cupcakes. Cupcakes. Do you make promises you can't keep? Especially when they involve my body and a ritual sacrifice. I, I kind of want to read out like the in between. If you just, want to. Oh, well, that's a lot. That's going to be a lot of reading, isn't it? Nah, not if I'm giving you those two and I'm doing the rest. Okay. I can't tell if Sayori really is that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. <sighs> Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? I'm in this for the cupcakes. Yes! Let's go! This is a bad idea. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Ritual sacrifices. Yeah, I, I knew I knew it was gonna I knew it was gonna come down to this. Ritual sacrifices. I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings to open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you! I told you, don't call me a new member. And I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. I don't even- I don't trust the voice you're getting <laughs> Sari always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Okay, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club? is full of incredibly cute girls. Sign one that something is wrong. <laughs> In every anime. What are you looking at? Your face. If you want something to say, say it. Sorry. Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think that she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. I don't feel safe eating these cupcakes anymore. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly in my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori or Natsuki. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Kay. Don't trust these people. <laughs> Why did you give me red for like a psychological horror and it's all cutesy dootsy? Because I love sharing with you because I love you. And I had to share all my experiences with you. We are one in the same. I know. That's why you want to record my reaction to it. Please. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. That counts for something, right? Monica is probably one of the most popular girls in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Maybe. A little bit. You too, Monica. Come sit down, Kay. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I get them. Sorry, I got a little excited. 
Then how about make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks to arrange to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs the wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Thank God, I was about to say, don't take a seat next to Monica. <laughs> Natsuki proudly marches back to the table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? No. Ta-da! Oh! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Whiskers are drawn on with icing and little pieces of chocolate are used to make the ears. Oh, that's, that's adorable. <laughs> Don't say that a lot. So cute! Why? Why, what's in these cupcakes? Oh, nothing. <clears throat> I had no idea you were good at baking, Natsuki. Eh, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sarah grabs the first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sarah already talks with her mouth full and already managed to get <laughs> icing on her face. I turn the cupcake in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Or to check to see if it's poisonous. Not to be as quiet, or if there's razor blades. Oh. oh. God. Oh my god. Why is not to be quiet? I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Is there a razor blade in my cupcake? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this summer before? Made them for you or anything? Uh, I thought you technically did. Sayori did... Well, maybe. But not for you... You... you, you dummy! All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss, dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole... <clears throat> you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Tea is poisonous. Both the cupcake and the tea are poisonous. Social anxiety 101. Hey, well. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> that, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, the tea and reading may not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I do enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. Again, I don't trust Monica. So, what made you consider it a literature club? Nothing. Uh, I was afraid of this question. <laughs> Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seems really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? Right at home, 1600. Don't trust these girls. As president of the Literature Club, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I don't trust these girls. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You'd probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. 
It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm filling that dream. Monica really is a great leader! I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. I'm calling it now. These chicks are going to try to murder me. Maybe not murder, but these chicks are going to abuse my mind <laughs> immensely. And because it's a literature club, not a lot of attention gets drawn to it. <laughs> They look too innocent. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Which one's going to try to kill me first? Monica is going to be the ringleader, so she's going to try last. <laughs> no, Sayori is going to try last, and Monica is going to be second to last. Psychological cool. people. Mm. Everyone enthusiastically agrees that I'm the best ritual sacrifice. <laughs> There's different girls all interested in the same goal. <laughs> and said like that, it just makes it oh so much more perfect. <laughs> Monica must really work hard to find. Had Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're so delighted at the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Kay, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, turned out little I've read these past few years. I don't really have a good way of answering that. That's not true. I love sci-fi. Sci-fi is too. the best genre. Well, sci-fi fantasy. Stuff. You you read more along the lines of romance, passion, I, passion. <laughs> uh, I'm not even going to touch on that subject. It's not smutty. It's passion. Well, no, I know it's not smutty. No, trust me. I'm what I'm person to know smutty between passion. Oh my god. <laughs> That's why when we say fanfiction, they're like... Manga. And mutter quietly, half-joking. <laughs> Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Like how much of an idiot I am. <laughs> Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Oh, I have a heart. Poor young innocent me. <laughs> anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger, silently dripping poison in the mind. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Cold on joints are locking up. <laughs> Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. Though she seems so reserved, she seems so reserved and timid just the moment I walked in. But it's obvious the way in her by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books. 
But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Here we go. Yuri is the one. Yuri is the one that's going to try to murder Lies me first. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Sure, creepy lady. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. No! Oh. This is where it begins. This is where my hell begins. Oh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, you might as well have been having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another little world, then I really can't put it down. Severe horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. <laughs> I hate horror! You and me both, Masuki. Oh? Why is that? Well, I just... Masuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Get scared. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Uh, what? What gives you that idea? Pink hair, pink eyes, tiny girl... Kinda writes itself. You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And get that back! Fine, fine. How to Harvest Souls 101. Step 1. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems? Step 1. Feed cupcakes. Step 2. Drink tea. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. <clears throat> Sorry slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hand on her shoulders. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have any writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <laughs> that face says it all. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. They all begin to draw knives. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Question mark. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Yeah, let's do it! Sayori, you blockhead. I love her, she, she is just the, I'm the blonde in the group. <laughs> Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it would help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Alright, Elsa. Isn't that right, Kay? Marcus smiles warmly at me once again. 
Hold on. There's still one problem. Uh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said that I would join this club. Sayori might may have convinced me to stop by, but I never said I made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and uh... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with your dick to eyes. But, but... I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> okay. You all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every time with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Oh, this is a mistake. You this sold is your a soul. bad, bad, bad decision. You sold your soul for a cupcake, bro. The cupcake's a lie. Yes, I'm so happy! Sarah wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would have been super pissed. <laughs> I did just come for the cupcakes. I want to run away. <laughs> <laughs> then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Welcome to hell. <laughs> ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Okay, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. I really impressed a class star like Monica with my needle for writing skills. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki, Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Kay, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I never walked, never walk home anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way back home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day in school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortunes will find me. I guess that starts with Brian and Poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words to think your favorite club member who will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Oh God. Click OK to sign your soul. <laughs> I don't have one anymore. I gave it up for a cupcake. To officially declare it. All right, now let's stay here. This will be ending of part one. OK. I'm waiting. You have to go down to save. Oh, do I? Yeah, we're gonna save it. Where? Where'd it go? This is hell. I can't. I can't leave. Where? Where is it? Where did uh, it, go? it was there. <laughs> um, click escape. Ah, oh, thank God. All right then. Turn. Click on the page. See what happens. There we go. Ah, uh, there we go. It just had a momentarily hiccup. Alright, so, now that we have saved that, 